Hi everyone, hello mga ka-safety, welcome back to our channel. This is our vlog number 5 for our ka-safety series. But before we proceed further, let me greet you a happy new year. Today is January 3rd, 2021, so it's just so fresh from the celebration. I hope you enjoyed your time with your family, friends, and relatives welcoming 2021. Hoping that it's going to be a better year compared to last year where we face a lot of challenges. Once again, Happy New Year. And this year, there will be lots of job opportunities both local and abroad. A lot of businesses will open the resume. And including here in Saudi Arabia, there's a lot of projects coming in. So while waiting for that, opportunities do not waste your time i mean to say maximize this moment to enhance or improve your skills communication skills especially both oral and written and improve your knowledge by reading all materials are available now on youtube or even on osha.gov so there's a lot of reading materials if you are really wanting to learn more okay so my topic for this vlog is about how to conduct toolbox meeting effectively i'm sure there are a lot of you there who are experienced and experts on this but i wanted to do this for the beginners especially who are those shy ashamed or afraid to ask okay while doing this in my mind this is for you guys the beginners okay. to improve your skills so you will be ready to face any challenges Before I go on, if you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe, click the bell buttons for updates for the upcoming videos like this. And your thumbs up really motivate me to do more of this kind of videos. And you can share this to your colleagues as well. So they will also benefit from this video. Again, I hope you stay up to the end of the video because along the way there are tips on how to conduct toolbox meeting toolbox talks effectively okay let's start okay toolbox talks are a great safety training tool that if delivered properly can be an ideal way to provide timely safety reminders to employees improve safety awareness and contribute to an improved safety culture from staying relevant to storytelling, here are five tips to ensure your toolbox talks, toolbox meetings are effective. Let's go to number one. Tip number one, talk directly to your audience. Make sure your topic is relevant to the industry you are in, for example, construction industry, manufacturing industry, and others. You can also focus on employees' personal agenda by reminding them to stay safe because doing so, they can continue working and continue earning to provide for their families or they can come home complete, not injured, not, not sick, right? So make sure that your topic matters to the employees. Because if they don't feel like it matters to them, you will have a hard time getting their interest. So I've done this many times also, especially here in Saudi Arabia. Our workers are from different uh, countries in the world. That's a, there's a language barrier. But if you set a family as an example, and then oh, you surely get their interest and they will listen to you. Okay, Make sure to get their interest by talking to them directly, the topic applies to them, applies to everybody. So we'll, they will stick with you until you are done with your toolbox stops. Okay? That's number one. 
Tip number two, make your subject short. People have very limited attention span and they will eventually start tuning you out no matter how important your subject is. Your audience will get bored if it is too lengthy. So make sure to highlight only the necessary points. But if you have additional information that you think is very useful for the workers, put in handout. I do that. Because I write newsletter, there's a section of that paper where I highlight again the toolbox topics that we have discussed already. Because a worker can take a copy home, they can have it translated by their friends also, and by that, they can fully understand the information given to them. But of course, you can also do a follow-up toolbox talks discussing the same topic periodically but you have also to add new and relevant context that can help retention. And of course, keeping your subject interesting. Okay? Make it short. Make it interesting. Tip number two. Okay, tip number three, mga kasifti, stay positive. Incident investigations are a reactive approach to something negative happening in the workplace and toolbox talks can be the exact opposite. They are an opportunity to encourage safe behavior before an incident may take place. So focus on something that what can be done to create a safe working environment rather than focusing on what was done wrong in the past. So. Make it positive, safe behavior, talk to people, make them feel you, that you care for them, okay? Stay positive. Tip number four, mga kasifti. I love doing this. This is one of my favorite tips. Demonstrate your point. Nobody wants to feel like they are at a lecture. So make sure to make your talk interactive because when the audience feel like they are involved surely they will pay attention okay demonstrations discussions hands-on examples are all effective way to get the people to participate and it will help them retain more of the information too and i tell you if you get them involved the next time you do the toolbox talks they will fall in line and sit in front of you because they want to hear from you they want to see you because you know it's interactive it's not boring it's not just lecturing you do this why you don't do this and sometimes i use their language for example where are you today i know see you and then they would reply me sir me mafi me here you mafi so then the people start to laugh and, you know, it's getting interactive. But we are not losing the, also the, the subject, the topic. But at least you make the audience lively because, they, because we start working early at 5.30 or 6 and they still people are yawning. But if you get their attention, no, it's, it's going to be a wonderful talk and fruitful talk indeed. So here we go, Ma Safety. This is the last tip. Tell a story, not a statistics. Well, people believe in statistics, but they remember stories. Statistics are a great way to get a point across. But the best way to convey a point is to tell a story. Storytelling is a great way or method of conveying information and helping the listeners to keep with it and it to, to remain it on top of their mind too. And that's the goal of Toolbox Talks. But of course, make sure that stories follow the guidelines 1, 2, 3, 4 that we have discussed. Stay short, relevant, and demonstrate and make it interesting. Okay? That's last tip. Okay? Okay? <laughs> Just additional information, mga ka-safety. Complacency is a huge factor in workplace incidents. And toolbox talks are a great way to combat that complacency.
by discussing hazards and work practices that may pose risk of an injury. So make sure to follow the five guidelines that we have discussed a while ago and make sure your talk is more engaging, interactive, so people will digest, will get the information you just convey to them, okay, to hopefully improve their working behavior outside. So I hope this is of help to you guys. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do not forget to click subscribe, ring the bell, so you will be updated whenever I have a new post related to Class Safety Series. So thank you very much. Much love. God bless. And safe regards.